Hey guys, welcome to the Red Vault again. It's Tolga Ser. Today I'm gonna restring this guitar which has a Floyd Rose. So, we have an LTD Eclipse. It's the 1000 series with and Floyd Rose and the deluxe version of it. The hardware is not shiny enough. The finish is really dirty and there are lots of rust in the metal. So we will handle the strings, the fretboard, the finish, all the metal hardware, especially we will dismount the Floyd Rose till the last screw. And in this process, I'm gonna use WD-40. For the polish, I'm gonna use Carvex. We have metal polish for the frets. Different clothes for different purposes, it's really important. You don't want to mix all the chemicals in one cloth. There are sponges for the wax. We have different... We have Allen wrench with different sizes. And there are screwdrivers. And I don't know the name of it. So, I'm gonna put a pan under the bridge with a cloth to not create a dent and fix the bridge. And I'm removing the nuts then I will cut the strings. At the back side of the guitar, we will remove the last spring to remove the Floyd Rose. When you are doing it, don't forget to support the Floyd Rose underneath because it will probably fall. Here's a quick tip for your intonation adjustment. If you are happy with the intonation of your guitar, uh, I recommend you to take a picture of your Floyd Rose and the screws pla screw placements because we will remove all the screws, all the saddles and we can't remember that. But a picture can make everything much more easier. I'm removing the screws of the pickup frames because they have rust as well. Also, the neck pickup frame is broken and I'm gonna change that too. I think using a little bit of lemon oil on the fretboard might be nice before taking care of other sections, other stuff, uh, because there are lots of dried out dirt in here and lemon oil will make those dirt swell and we can rinse those much more easy and also the fretboard is kind of dried out too so I'm gonna apply this for a few times I put all the screws in a cupboard and I'm using contact spray WD-40 to clean those things but if you don't know which screw is which you should put those separately it's time to remove the tuners I'm gonna use that this tool, I don't know the name, I still don't know the name. You have to be careful because it's really easy to scratch your guitar or damage the hardware. It's okay to clean the fretboard now because all the dirt is swelled and it's really easy to clean. Then I'm gonna put some paper tape on the fretboard, on the wood, then I'm gonna apply some metal polish to make the frets shiny. I'm applying the metal polish side to side, but I'm not sure about the amount. If you will use this thing, I, I, I recommend you to check a few more resources. Also, if you have a Dremel or any tool with a spinning head the polishing part will be much more easier I will apply some Carvex to the headstock and I'm gonna do the same to the body but before that I'm using a screen cleaner to remove the residues you have to do this with patience because you need to let the wax dry to remove the scratch but the timing 
is a little tricky so you will you will get the experience after a few try i will do the same on the body after removing the knobs but when you are doing it you have to be careful you have to clean the body well before applying the wax because there are lots of dirt on the body on the finish from the hand from the sweat and if you don't clean the body well the waxing won't be good it's it will just create a mess now we can put the guitar aside for a while because I have to clean the hardware it's time to clean the tuners and the order is important for me I don't know why but it's important I'm gonna use some contact spray to clean them off from the marks of the moisture now we will dismount the Floyd Rose till the last screw and there are three different plates you have to be careful about the order and the right sides of those plates we have clean screws and I'm gonna separate them after putting back the Floyd Rose together we can put all of those to the guitar as you can see it's worn out there's permanent damage probably because of the sweat and the salt you have to take care of your guitar well or this is unavoidable I'm putting the tuners back to the guitar after that I'm gonna take care of the nut and the string tree I'm trying to clean the saddles but they are really dirty however it's okay it's fine because the same damage on the Floyd Rose is also occurred in the on the saddles I put everything back together now I'm gonna clean up the place after that I will put the new strings on the guitar for this guitar I will use elixir OptiWeb actually it's not my favorite string but most of the time I change the strings every three or four months but I'm making this to the guitars with C standard tuning because I'm using those for recording and I think elixir is not the best choice for this purpose but I'm gonna uh, tune this guitar to the E standard and it won't be one of my main axes so when it comes to the lifetime you know elixir is unbeatable also I wanted to I wanted to try this version of elixir because it's been a few years since my last purchase of this brand and I never tried those so let's start now i'm gonna tune this guitar actually putting new strings to the floyd rose isn't that hard but the tricky part is tuning it and adjusting the springs on the back So now it's not the best but it's kind of in tune. I have to decide the height of the Floyd Rose because it's not a familiar configuration, it's not a familiar body type. It's arch top so should it be flat as the body or should it be higher than the body? I'm not sure. Then I'm gonna put the cover back adjust the height of the pickups as I mentioned before the bridge and we are good to go
let's close the video because I think that's enough. You know, I'm gonna just put the cover back and make some adjustments, but I need time to do it. Before closing, I want to thank you if you are still watching. I know there are lots of videos like this on YouTube and it's not rocket science, but it can be tricky sometimes and I hope you might find something useful for you. Also, don't forget to check the chemicals or other stuff that you will use. It might create a different reaction on different type of threads or finish or wood. That's all. Don't forget to share your thoughts on the comments. Like, subscribe. See ya.